Why, hello there. Don't mind me. I'm just talking with Ellie. What was that? Oh, sorry. How rude of me. This is my friend Ellie, the mammoth, and we're just sitting here talking for a couple of minutes. Now telling each other funny jokes. Anyways, I'm glad you guys are here. In today's video, I will be transporting a whole bunch of 4.2 steel bars. Last video, you saw me refine those 4.2 steel bars. I took it from Fort Sterling all the way to Fairford, refined it. Now in this video, you're going to see me transport it. And thanks to my friend Ellie here, we're going to work as a team in order to get that mission accomplished. Anyways, Ellie, do you have anything to say to our lovely viewers? Don't forget to like the video, okay? Wow. Thank you, Ellie. Anyways, guys, let's head on over. And while I'm transporting all these 4.2 steel bars to the different cities, what I'm gonna do is answer a few of the questions left behind by you, my viewers, in the comment section. I love doing this. This is my favorite part of any type of video that I make is responding to you. So let's head on over. Come on, Ellie. We have work to do. All right, ladies, while we speed run this transportation, let's head right in to answering the questions. So the first one comes from Aspirant Grandmaster, and you said, I just discovered you, and honestly, I love your videos. You sound chill, and it's so pleasant to listen to your good advices with such a calm voice and everything you know. Keep it up with uh, the heart emoji. Anyways, Aspirant, thank you very much. I try my best to give as much advice as I can regarding this game. Nothing else to say other than thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my content and I hope I get to see more of you in the coming future, brother or sister. Right here, next comment comes from Zoe7411 and you wrote down glad to see a video like this i'm starting to finally take pvp serious and the amount of hacking i'm seeing is out of control that comment you left there was in regards to my video where i was talking about cheating uh people using radar hacks i just want to say this um i've had people defend the radar hacks in the comment section and i've had people that's against the radar hacks i'm gonna give you guys my position before i answer um before i reply to your comment um zoe my position is very simple <coughs> I do not condone and I do not agree with anyone trying to use any type of cheating software to gain an advantage over another player. That is my position. Now now that we understand that, is there anything that can be done about it? No. Alright? And I'm fully aware of that. There's nothing I can do to stop the cheating. People will cheat, uh, whether it's a video game or in real life. People find ways to cheat the system. That's just the way it is. But for me personally, I do not find any enjoyment at all by cheating. And like I said, that's my personal stance on it. You can agree with it or not. It's, I really don't care. That's your opinion. This is my YouTube channel, so it's my opinion that I'm giving. Finally, Zoe, to get back to you. <sighs> Cheating has always been a huge issue on Albion Online. We have bots, we have raiders, we have so many things on Albion Online that's just, I can't even cover it all, all right? For those of us that's played the game for a long time, we know about this, but yeah, welcome to Albion Online, Zoe. Don't let it discourage you though. Um, the game is still fun. Yeah, you gotta deal with these um, cheaters. Next comment is from Crowley271, and you said, You place all by order of Log and Marlock, and would Lim and Thet would be better because Log is their primary and secondary resources? Now, this is for the video where I refined a whole bunch of tier 6 wood. You're right, Crowley, uh, that was kind of my bad on that part of the video. I didn't just buy all the wood from uh, Martlock, I bought the wood from Martlock, Fairford, and Lim. So those were the three cities, but I, I posted up a screenshot of Martlock instead. One of the reasons why is I was forgetful. Okay, I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you, Crowley. I forgot all of, uh, to take a screenshot of the other cities, and I only took a screenshot of Martlock at that time. So that was just the main reason it was. Um, I wasn't trying to deceive anyone or do anything wrong. Uh, it's just my fault. Uh, thank you for calling me out on that, brother. Um, I'll try my best next time in the future to do a better job. But yeah, that's the main reason is I forgot to take a screenshot of the buy price in Fairford and the buy price in Limhurst. I only took a screenshot of Marlock, so that was my bad. But anyways, in saying that, the buy price from Fairford and Limhurst were both similar to Marlock. So either way, it's a win-win situation. But I do get that I, I should do do a better job, as especially as a content creator, um, to make it more transparent and more clear for you guys, my viewers, so you guys can have a better understanding. Again, I would like to apologize, Brother Crowley. 
right let's just hop on to the next uh, comment and it was from to Torres 69 and you said EU launch is happening very soon how would you go about to succeed early on with crafting on a new server all right I'm gonna be honest with you I am at the EU right now um, I bought the founders pack so I managed to get on the server five days earlier than everyone else I was looking to go solo solo sorry and to succeed quickly but because i'm a part of a guild on the eu i had to change my plan up so basically what i did was um instead of me trying to succeed by myself early on in the game by doing a whole bunch of crafting and transporting and so on and so on the first thing i did was help my team grow i'm planning for the long run since i'm gonna stick with this guild for a long time what i did was when i joined the eu server was i just instantly began gathering everyone in my guild was uh, given different roles to do uh, my primary role was to gather uh, ore. I managed to get up to tier 5, tier 6 gathering. My other role is to be a cook. To answer your question, to succeed early in the EU server, you can do it on your own by doing a whole bunch of crafting, transporting. Mind you, you cannot transport anymore to the black market and sell it there. You won't make huge profit like the Asia server when the Asia server opened. A lot of people uh, jumped on that opportunity, including myself. When the Asia server opened on my first week, I made 120 million silver. A lot of other content creators like YouTubers, they made a lot more. That was because we did a whole bunch of crafting and transporting to the black market at Kilion, but uh, SBI picked up on that so we couldn't do that on the EU server so it's been nerfed to complete oblivion <laughs> but I reckon it's good because um when the Asia server opened like I said on my first week I made 120 million uh I've seen some people heard of some people and I know some people and some content creators they made 100 million plus on their first 24 hours anyways I hope that answers your question um Taurus right let's hop on to the next comment and it's from hazel hazel uh hazel whatever uh 864 i'm sorry if i couldn't pronounce your name uh and you said are you batman no i am the guy that kills batman <laughs> i'm just joking no i'm not batman brother uh or sister uh i'm just a regular guy from new zealand that's who i am radio next com uh comment comes from Tronky. You said, do you sell all of them at, at once though? Wouldn't that oversaturate the market? So this was a video I made a couple of days ago where I refined a whole bunch of tier six wood and I was making millions doing so. Um, to answer your question though, no. so what you see right now on screen is me transporting a whole bunch of 4.2 ore that I refined in Fairford. And that's what I did with the wood. Um, I transport them to the different cities and sell them at the different cities and let me explain to you why. So reason number one, if I was to take all my resources and put them all into just one city, so just one marketplace, it will never sell. All right? I might be able to sell two, three, four, maybe even five stacks. But then after that, other refiners are going to come along and undercut me. So what I do is when I refine a whole bunch of wood or a whole bunch of resources in general, I transport them to Martlock, Birdwatch, Lamphurst, Fort Sterling, Thetford and distribute them evenly amongst those different cities. That way I'm not in direct competition with myself or any other refiner. All right, I do not want to get into a market battle with other refiners. Okay, so I just want to divide my resources equally amongst the different cities, put them up for sale and they usually sell within one week. All right, so I hope that answers your question. And yes, if you do sell your items in one city, it will oversaturate the market. So if you guys are watching my refining videos, please understand, try and spread out your resources to the different cities if you can, and that way it won't oversaturate the market and everything will remain stabilized and the prices won't drop or increase. Understood? Alrighty then. Right, next question comes from Vox Bozo 9838 and you wrote a few questions. Did you buy from Discord or in-game market? All right, I'm gonna answer your first question. I bought it from the market. I don't buy from Discord anymore. I used to, but not anymore. So your second question, if I was to do this, would I need spec and a mammy? Now that's a big and good question. Ideally, no, you don't need spec, all right? So to answer the first part, uh, would you need spec? Not really, all right? You don't need spec in order to make profit when it comes to refining. And do you need a mammy? A mammy will be really good. It will help you transport a lot more compared to using an ox or a winter's bear. As you can see on the video right now, I'm using a mammoth, all right? I own two mammoths on the west. I own one mammoth on the east. And now that the EU server is opening, I'm gonna try to get a mammoth there. But yeah, um, to answer your question, no, you don't need spec. And yes, a mammoth will be nice, even though you don't need it. And finally, how long does it take for buy orders to fill? 
if from market okay it usually takes me personally between 24 hours to a week so it really depends on what type of resources you're looking to buy so anything that's like tier 5 and lower it'll just take 24 hours to fill resources like tier 6 up to tier 8 could take from anywhere between a week to almost a month right like the tier 7 to tier 8 could like really take a month or longer so yeah there, there's uh my response to your question brother vox Bozer. have a lovely day <clears throat> right here next so a comment comes from bold seller 101 and you said if you're transporting tier 5 hide you should use tier 5 skin as ca uh, cape that is very much true so here let me break it down for you guys and this is a comment that you left on my small scale refining for beginners video if you're looking to refine actually tier 5 hide then yeah definitely take a tier 5 skinner's cape you can also take tier 6 tier 7 and tier 8 skinner's cape but you cannot use a tier 4 skinner's cape to transport a tier, tier 5 skin or hide all right so that's the downside all right so there's a given trade there right there. um so in order for you to transport tier 5 take tier 5 uh, skinner's cape or higher so if you have tier 5 hide you can take a tier 6 skinner's cape tier 7 or tier 8 and but if you're wearing a tier 4 skinner's cape and you carry a tier 5 hide uh, it's gonna you're still gonna be extremely overweight so yeah you are right there um brother when you're transporting anything that's tier 5 take a tier 5 um skinner's cape or higher uh, same goes for tier 6 you can take a tier 6 skinner's cape or higher and so on and so on next comment comes from mustafa one sharif and you said please don't get bored from us just make a lot of videos like this heart emoji my brother mustafa or my sister i will definitely keep doing this all right i really do enjoy refining so a lot of my content now is based around refining i will make other content as well as making refining videos it's okay guys so don't panic but for now mustafa to answer your questions i will never stop the only way to stop me is for someone to kill me all right <laughs> but yeah thank you guys. uh thank you for enjoying my videos and my uh content there brother and i hope to make more and i hope you keep enjoying it all right have a lovely day next comment comes from at janeki5850 all right and you sir or madam said bro this is the first video i saw from you and i really liked it so from now on i will watch every video and my response to that is thank you so much all right i appreciate that gesture brother or sister uh small comments like this uh for those of you who do not know really does encourage me to keep going i do get a lot of negative comments as you guys see on my uh, videos and in my comment section sometimes and i don't bother responding to the negativity guys i just keep it moving and keep it going so people like this um for those of you not just people like janik but for those of you out there that's been very supportive of my content i really do appreciate it i hope you guys understand that and all of the kind words that you guys say means a lot to me and trust me i have thick skin uh, all the negative comments that i get i pay it no attention i'm too old to even care uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen my live stream so i'm not a little kid <laughs> i don't easily get offended and whenever people leave negative comments i just have a good laugh drink my coffee and move on to the next comment so Thank you, Janik, again, and to everyone else who supported me along the way. I want to give you guys a massive shout out and a lot of love and respect. All right. Radio, next comment is from Antonio Andre23. And your comment was Do you not craft without focus? Is it almost never worth it, even if you reduce the profits? All right. So, to answer your question, yes and no. So, here's what I mean by that. So, there are days when I am looking to mass craft for the black market. So, let's say, for example, I go to the black market and I look up the price for mm, soldier boots. All right. And to craft soldier boots, I think you need eight steel bars. I think eight or 16. All right. I forgot. I'm just going off of memory. So, do forgive me, but you can uh, check this up yourself. Let's say I'm gonna craft a whole bunch of soldier boots for the black market. If I'm looking to mass produce soldier boots, let's say a bunch of tier threes or tier fours, then I, I never use focus, all right? Uh, that's called mass crafting. So I'll buy like a whole bunch of steel bars. Let's say I buy 20,000 steel bars and I turn all of that 20,000 into soldier boots. I never use focus. All right, that's called mass crafting. And usually when I do that, or when people like me do that, it's for the black market. When we mass craft 
tier 3 boots or tier 4 boots we transport it to Kelion and we put it up for sale at the black market all right the only time I use focus is when I'm crafting for profit what do I mean by crafting for profit so when I use focus I am not mass producing anything I am crafting in small amounts so let's take for example I will be crafting some round breakers and um, when I use focus to craft round breakers, I'm only looking to craft maybe between eight and 10 round breakers. And I use a Kraken salad and I use my focus. And why do I do that? Because the focus and the salad increases my chances of having better quality round breakers. And having better quality round breakers means that when you go to the market and you put it up for sale, it sells for a much higher price, all right? So when I'm crafting for profit, I use my focus and that way I do not have to mass craft anything. Uh, I can craft small amounts and get a much bigger return. But if I am gonna craft with no focus, then I craft a whole bunch of tier threes and tier fours and I just put that up for sale at the black market. All right, Antonio, I hope that answer your question. If not, leave it down in my comment section uh, later on somewhere down the line i usually do these types of videos where i respond to my viewers okay righty your next comment is from zenzao 624 guys he commented on a video on another mmorpg game that i played on that's called mortal online 2 the only difference between mortal online 2 and albion online mortal online 2 has a lot of bugs and also mortal online 2 is pay to play unlike albion online where it's free to play i will say that mortal online 2 has a much lower player count compared to albion online albion online used to run on one server that was in north america and we had like hundreds of thousands of people now albion online has grown so big that it has free servers and all free servers are alive and active so you have the na server that's alive and active you have the asia server that's also alive and active and now you have the eu server that's alive and active so you, if you can take in comparison between the two games mortal online 2 and mortal online and albion online sorry uh, you can tell that the player bases are just completely different the demographics are vastly different and i made a video <coughs> explaining um how that game uh, mortal online 2 uh, it's not really noob friendly so newer players are not going to enjoy the game uh, i can see why the player base is so small and so on and this individual Zinzao said Lafala are you salty cause Tatsuya killed you in the game? Uh, my response to that is no. Uh, the whole point of the video wasn't to be salty. The point of the video was to give honest feedback because for those of you that do not know Mortal Online 2 uh, never gets that many bad reviews and for those of you who do not know why it's because the developers sometimes pay big uh, streamers big content creators to play the game and they pay them a lot of money and they have to give good review um, luckily for me I'm not a big content creator, so I can give honest reviews, all right? I'm not paid, but if, if I was paid by Mortal Online 2, of course, I'll never give a negative review, but let's be real, uh, I'm not paid by them at all, so I gave my honest feedback on the game. Um, <clears throat> everyone that left a comment on that video all agreed with me except for Zinzao. And to answer your question, brother Zinzao, no, I'm not salty. Um, it was just me giving feedback on um, playing Mortal Online 2. One of my biggest regrets is I'm buying an extra month of playtime. So after playing Mortal Online 2 for a whole entire month, I decided to make a video explaining um, why the game is difficult, especially for a new player that's coming in and how buggy the game is. There's a lot of exploits within the games, uh, similar to all other video games. There are cheaters in the game, which is like, you know, it's normal things. But I was just giving a perspective for my new players um, point of view. I do not know who Tatsuya is. I've never met the guy. If he was the guy that killed me, then good on him. All right. Yeah, no, nothing bad for me, brother Zinzao. Uh, not really salty at all. It was just a video where I was giving honest feedback to a game that I find uh, extremely buggy. There's a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches. Uh, it's not really worth the money to pay to play on Mortal Online 2. Luckily, I'm not paid, so I can give honest feedback. All the other game develop, I mean, all the other streamers in there, because they're paid big money, they can give good feedback. You know how it is, guys. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I hope that answered your question, brothers and sisters. 
Radio, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the end of the video. I hope you guys saw how I uh, refined and how I travel to the different cities in order to sell the things that I refined. All right, I don't sell it all in one city because like that'll oversaturate the market. Anyways, it's your boy Musi here, and there's nothing else to say other than I'm out of here, people. Have a good day.